Hello my friends! Hello! We are at the eruption site. Okay, we are filming the lava here. How it's uh, expanding on the most. We already saw one crash. How big boulder crashed. It was very windy that day and I'm voicing over the rest of the footage with more updates for you. Uh, the last update from Icelandic Med Office was published uh, on November 29th at 5 o'clock and now we have some data regarding this eruption. Here they say that the eruption at Sunukur crater continued with, with steady activity overnight, similar to what has been observed in recent days with minimal changes in eruption tremor. The lava flow from the active vent is predominantly moving south east towards Fagradasfjall. And the experts from the Icelandic Met Office measured uh, sulfur dioxide uh, emissions from the eruption on November 28th. And their measurements indicated that this emission rate is 64 to 71 kilograms every second. Every second this volcano emits around 70 kilograms of sulfur dioxide SO2. Thus, gas pollution from the eruption is expected to persist in the coming days, potentially causing discomfort or health risk, especially in hiking passes near Fagradalsvat and close to the eruption site. But it depends on the wind, where the wind is going. You have to check the wind every time uh, if you in intend to go there. Now, the experts from Icelandic Institute of Natural History conducted measurements and aerial surveys at the eruption site yesterday. Uh, it was on November 28th. Results indicate that the lava field from this eruption now covers 9.1 square kilometers with a volume of approximately 47 million cubic meters and an average thickness exceeding 5 meters. This eruption, which began nine days ago, is now the second largest by volume among the eruptions at Sunukur crater since December 23. We had seven eruptions no, north of Grindavik since December last year, and this is second the biggest in terms of the volume output of the lava production. Mm, uh, the lava field that formed uh, during August 22nd to September 5th eruption, which lasted approximately 15 days, is the largest by volume, extruding ap approximately 61 million cubic meters of lava. The lava film a lava field which formed uh, during the eruption from May 29th to June 22nd is the third largest extruding around 45 million cubic meters. So um, the last two eruptions were the biggest, the last two of seven north of Grindavik. This is the second biggest eruption in terms of the volume, how much lava came from the crater. Now, deformation measurements in Swartzenki area show minimal daily changes, suggesting that magma inflow into the accumulation zone beneath Swartzenki remains consistent with the outflow from the eruption. Based on measurements taken by the Icelandic Institute of Natural History, the average lava flow rate was approximately 11 cubic meters every second from November 23rd to 28th. And based uh, on sulfur dioxide measurements from yesterday, the flow rate was estimated to be 7 to 8 cubic meters every second. Current lava flow is roughly estimated to be 5 to 10 cubic meters per second. That is applied to November 28th, 29th. Now, the Icelandic Met Office uh, has updated the hazard assessment from the eruption valid uh, uh, until uh, 3 p.m. December 3rd, unless conditions change. Overall, hazard levels remain unchanged in all areas. Uh, the hazard level uh, for Zone 4 remains unchanged, but there is one change for Zone 1, Swartzengi, where the gas pollution hazard 
is now assessed as significant uh, rather than very high. Uh, the Blue Lagoon remains closed, as you know, but they plan to open it. I saw on the website uh, on November 4th. Oh, sorry, December 4th. December 4th, they plan to reopen the Blue Lagoon again, and I will be going there on the 5th. I am scheduled to go there with a group of tourists on December uh, 5th. They were supposed to be open um, on 29th, but for some reasons they didn't open. But I saw they are making the road across the lava field uh, that Grindavik Road is being renewed. Uh, they are setting some you know, leveling it up the lava to make the road to fix the road which was destroyed there. Anyway, those are the major news from the eruption side. Enjoy the rest of the views that I filmed during my last hike. And I have uh, bad news. I did lose my drone last. Uh, time when I was there it was the battery when I was in Zerden it was 59 percent and I thought I have it but as soon as I took in the air and started flowing towards the lava it all of a sudden started to show zero and it said I'm emergency landing on the lava so I didn't bother to of course it's dangerous to go on the lava to to fetch it and uh, I just left it there you know maybe when this volcano will stop I will be able to retrieve it but we will see but for now it's gone but luckily I have insurance so it's the third drone this year I'm losing so it's um, kind of sad um, this is a special rock formation you see it was like a hot to two lava plates you see this very often with uh, lava and um, yeah those are the news from Iceland uh, I wish you all the best, uh, be well, God bless you all and have a nice Sunday, because today is a Sunday day, have a blessed day, all the best, bye.